Kaduna kidnapping saga. Let us leave our military off this issue. These people don't even have firepower, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi says. <laughs> so how can Gumi say, and he was a retired military officer, I think he was a, an army captain. Now how can he say that we should leave military out of kidnapping issues and banditry issues? So how else can you resolve it? So you want to negotiate with them so that you can give them what they want and come to a compromise and then from there they will establish their own dynasty. This guy does not have good intention for Nigeria, I'm telling you. This kind of person, you should, I don't know what to say. Eh? This is terrible and very disappointing. This is real jihadist. Ishigumi is a is complete jihadist, I can say. An Islamic cleric, Sheikh Ahmad Gumi, has um, argued against the idea of relying on the military to handle civilian insurgency. He pointed out the lack of firepower among these bandit groups and their tendency to operate within civilian population. What do you mean? How can you say the bandits in Nigeria don't have firepower? They are laying ambush against the military. They are going into the barracks to bomb. They are kidnapping in schools. They are carrying the kind of ammunition that is used during war alone. doesn't come out during civil civilian riot. And you are saying they don't have firepower. Eh? They are even using a helicopter in Nigeria because there are some places that some mysterious helicopters have landed. And one of them is, uh, uh, what do they call it, Badagri. I think uh, somewhere in uh, in Boronu and somewhere in Zamfara. All those places, even in Niger State. Eh? And you say you don't have firepower. This Gumi must be a Confucianist. We really need to watch this person. I'm telling you the truth. He advocated for a comprehensive approach involving effective detective work robust policing and well designed social programs. He urged for a shift in responsibility towards the police, politicians and intelligence agencies to address these issues collectively. He stressed the importance of cooperation among these entities to effectively put an end to banditry in Nigeria. A former NHIS boss, Professor Usman Yusuf, who was part of the negotiation team that secured the release of the Kaduna train victims in 2023, had also argued that the war against banditry would be demilitarized. He stated that the military should be allowed to return to the barracks. He lamented that some soldiers have not seen the barracks since their recruitment into the army. According to him, the fight to end banditry should be through dialogue with critical stakeholders. What do you mean? So he said in an interview with Arise TV, I am tired of the military. I was in the military myself and I don't think there is a military solution to all of this. I think it is humiliating to think that the military should take care of civilian insurgency. What we need is very good detective work, very good policing and very good social programs. Let's leave our military off this issue. These people don't even have firepower. They have they hide behind civilians to do whatever they do. So let us not humiliate and disgrace our military. This is the job of the police. This is the job of the politicians. And this is the job of the intelligence. Let us get all these together so that we can circumvent these people. Ha. Gumi is ill-advising Nigeria. I mean, true. The kind of firepower that these bandits carry, the police with civil defense, all of them put together, can't handle them. Uh, people that are laying ambush against soldiers and killing soldiers. And you are saying that they don't have firepower. They are civilians. They are hiding behind civilians. That these people, is the work of the police. Police can't handle these people. They are so armed to the teeth. People that are carrying rocket launchers. People that are carrying AK-47 assault rifles and submachine guns. People that are carrying bombs. And you say they don't have firepower? Gumi is deceiving Nigeria. I'm telling you the truth. I think the earlier we know that this guy doesn't mean well for Nigeria, the better for us. With the kind of havoc the bandits have wrecked in Nigeria, how can you say they don't have firepower? Anybody that doesn't have firepower that cannot wreck the kind of havoc these people are wrecking in Nigeria. So how do you know that they don't have firepower? How do you know that only police can handle them? Eh? It is, it is humiliated to the military because the military security architecture and intelligence service, they have all been compromised. And how, did they, how were they compromised? They were compromised badly right from the time Buhari decided to be recruiting repentant Boko Haram into the military. Rather than rehabilitating them and, and giving them different skills to go and work elsewhere, you 
think that rehabilitating them and putting them back into the military is the best. Now the military is compromised, badly compromised, and the intelligence system now is sick. And that is why the military is not succeeding. Not that the military cannot tackle them. And Gumi here is coming here to tell Nigeria something else. This guy must be out of his sight, out of his sight. And somebody is saying in the comment section, since you know them, tell the bandits to release the girls, to release the students. Eh? And somebody said, this you're preaching over bandits, you're supposed to have uh, been arrested by now. But just because you are a northern uh, or a northern senior man, that's why they don't want to arrest you. And that is true. Agent of evil, one day shall be your end. Igoricho. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. I don't say, and these same people are telling South Easterners not to panic when they see heavy military equipment movement in Enugu. And I ask, what is happening in Enugu and the entire Southeast that the attention of the military is drafted to the Southeast rather than major parts of the Northern state where evil is like women uh, backing newly born children every day? If Nigeria is not divided before the end of this year, the anger of God will surely visit those in authority without mercy. That is it. And somebody says, see number one bandit talking freely. He should have been arrested since. Exactly, but the government wouldn't do that. Uh, anybody who is a gun carrier in camouflage is no longer a civilian. And that is the truth. These bandits, they wear military camouflage. They carry AK-47. They carry some machine guns. They carry machine guns. They carry rocket launchers. They carry RPGs. And you are telling me that they don't have firepower. They come out as militant, military with flags, and you say they don't have firepower. Gumi is a deceit. That is the truth. Gumi is lying to himself and he knows it. Some say, we all know you people have turned into, uh, turn it into business. Make gonna continue to destroy in a region on a unborn generation go cause on a tire. Not be smart, you know. Hmm? This Gumi, is he above the law? Yes, so can the government arrest him for questioning? I strongly believe he has link with these bandits based on the words he always utter. Exactly. The guy says things that you know goes ahead to prove that he's one of them. Gumi is one of them, and that is why Nigeria has been warned that Tinubu has been warned never to allow Gumi to go and in, intervene, mediate, or negotiate between Nigeria and the bandits. As some say, we were born in this country, let us see the truth. The militant killing Nigeria are imported. Terrorists are imported terrorists, okay? Though they are mostly Fulanese from other countries. This is not police matter. All the various arms of government should stand up to fight and solve this problem. These people have international connection. They have powerful weapons. They have powerful intelligent gathering units all over Nigeria. The president should never succumb to their suggestions. Please use your commander-in-chief power to stop them now. Even if it means sacrificing some people, wipe these militants out. The rest of us will live in peace. Thank you. Okay. Well, please, where is Mamu? <laughs> Gumi should join him, please. Who is Mamu? Hmm? Mamu Diakubu or who? Does this Gumi read the comments of other internet users? He does not. This man called Gumi is a deceiver for saying that bandits don't have firepower. That we know that he's lying. He's deceiving Nigeria. I wonder what did they use? The ransom collected for. Yeah? So the truth is that these people have very strong firepower. You can't you can't question that. So Gumi is just deceiving Nigeria saying military should not be involved so that they can have a field day. So thank you for listening and let's have a comment.